Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I have a product review for you guys. Two, two product reviews for you guys and it is of the W7 Solette palette, eyeshadow palette and also the Lula W7 bronzer. So I'm going to be reviewing these two products for you guys. I have been seeing this W7 Select palette floating around on YouTube and I just had to buy it like drugstore affordable yes hello I think the palette looks so pigmented so I was like no I have to go on the W7 website and order this palette and obviously while I was there I couldn't help myself but buy this and it was like literally on sale for like £2.50 so I definitely just put that in my basket and I was like no let me just get off this website very quickly before I just end up spending all my money on hair <laughs> but the main reason why I went on the website was for this beauty hair and this palette guys is amazing like literally so pigmented so easy to blend easy um palette for um to use if you're a beginner um you can build up the shades um, the glitters in here are like incredible. I just wonder how they put so much work into the palette to make it so affordable but so pigmented and high quality. One thing I say is like when you initially open it, it does have a very, very strong like factory chemical smell. But like I've had it open for maybe like two days now and um, it's the smell is like completely gone. I really wanted to like unbox it on camera but I was just so excited guys. I really need to get this hang of this thing of like putting my packages aside and like save them for videos but it's so hard like when I see packages I'm just like no 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 I need to open them. I just love makeup beauty and everything it's just like literally my passion like I don't know comment down below if you're exactly the same but anyway this intro is becoming very very long. I just wanted to say this is actually a pressed pigment palette um, so it's not an eyeshadow palette so they, it, they is a little bit different than actually eyeshadows I think they go through a different process than um, what eyeshadows do so I don't know if they're going to stain um, but we're going to find out I'll find out by tonight if they do you guys know me already I like to make my intros short and sweet um, so yeah if you want to see how I got this look just come and watch it Hey guys, I just wanted to come in here and show you the swatches. So the first one here is, excuse my hairy arm, oh my gosh, is Pearl Clutch High Society RSVP and Old Money. But as you guys can see, like these shadows are really pigmented especially the shimmers excuse my hairy arm the last two i chose were the blue blood obviously the last two on the end and pink diamond um as you can see they are they've got quite large particles on them quite large um chunks of glitter so you would want to be a little bit careful with this um, I would recommend you could probably use like a glue with this so it would probably help the glitter chunks to to stay on the eyes but yeah guys I just want to show you the swatches as you can see they're really 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 pigmented um, sorry about my hairy arm again I, I don't know I'm not going to shave it guys by the way <laughs> You're just gonna have to deal with it every time I do swatches. But anyway, guys, this is about the swatches, not my hairy arms. So you guys can see how good and pigmented the shadows are. Okay, guys, so I've done my base, everything. You guys, if you've been following me for a long time, then you know what I typically use. But I'll try and link the products that I have used down in the description box. Um, but you guys do not understand how excited I am to use this palette. Oh, good. Um, so. It is daytime, so I want to do a simple um, look, but I definitely want to use one of these shimmers um, today. And I will be using the brush that it comes with. You know, their brushes are absolutely amazing. So it's double sided, it's just got a fluffy side like this, and more of like a pencil denser side on the back, like that. 
think to start and also it has a mirror on the inside i'm gonna show you guys the reflection um so i'm gonna be using this as well so i'm gonna go in with this brown shade here called cosmopolitan um and i'm just gonna put that in my crease this brush is a little bit big for my crease but it'll be fine so I'm just picking it up. I'm so like excited to see the colour pay off. I do have powder underneath my eyes so that obviously just in case there's any fallout. Okay. So I'm just picking up some more of that cosmopolitan. This brush isn't that long, so it's actually a bit more difficult to hold it. They are very soft though, their brushes. They're not very pigmented, but I would say that is kind of a good thing because it gives you that room to build up and, you know, if you do make any mistakes, you could probably really buff it out. That is really beautiful. It's coming off a very pink on my eye. Um, but hey ho. Very pretty guys. So I'm just going to put that same colour in my other crease off camera. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with the shade Polisher in the palette. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with this brush here. So I'm just going to put that in my crease to deepen it up. Okay, there's a lot of kickback with that, that shade there in the pan. So I'm just going to pop that into my crease. Like I said, this is a daytime look, so I don't want to really make it that... that that intense I think that's really pretty I'm just going to buff it out with this brush from Primark um, it's just a fluffy fluffy brush if you're doing an even look you could probably not buff it out so much as me but I don't want my crease to be too intense these colors blend like a dream okay guys so I don't want to play with the glitters too much because like I said a million times in this video it is a day look so but I want to go in with just a hint of this shade here so let me just curve up the mirror I think it's called a high solity guys if you know me already my eyesight is just like not the best so <laughs> you have to bear with me and the contrast of these um, shade names with the colour on the palette is just not the best but anyway I'm going to go in with that shade and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my lid just a little sparkle of it and I'm just using this brush from Eco Tools so it's like a semi flat brush um you guys probably seen this a million times on my channel as well so i'm just gonna go in oh this is so beautiful wow i just wanted to sweep this color on like and that like literally is enough i just literally dabbed my brush into this palette so i'm just gonna put a little on the other eye guys why is this palette so pigmented if you do not want a heavy look then you know you don't have to have it with these glitters you can you can literally just put a little bit on your brush because they're so pigmented okay, i'm usually just going to use this brush from amazon it's just a fluffy brush and just marry the glitter into the other colours a bit more just because ok 
Okay. So guys, I think I'm gonna leave it there for the shadow. Now on to the bronzer. So it does come with this brush here. So it is a fluffy, semi-dense brush. Very, very soft, very, very soft, guys. This brush is super soft, not exaggeration. And here, oh, here is the bronzer, so I can get this film out. So this is the bronzer here. So what I did notice when I did swatch it, guys, is that it looks orange on camera here, but I'll just, I'll do a swatch for you. There's a swatch. I don't know why, but it looks very orange on camera, but it is very, it's quite cool. It's like in between a cool and a warm um, shade, and it is a very pigmented, as you guys saw, like that was very pigmented when I just swatched that there. So I'm gonna use this fluffy brush, but it's not too um, dense. And this is what I like to use sometimes when I don't want to pick up too much product with my bronzer. And I'm just going to use that to just bronze up my face. Yeah, guys, if you buy this, it's very, very pigmented. So be careful. It's very pigmented, guys. Yeah, you have to be very careful with this. Super duper pigmented. I don't know how orange that's looking on camera, but I do like it though. I do like it so I'm gonna go in with my usual Laura Glia um, baked highlighter so I'm just gonna be using that blush shade there in the palette and just put in a little bit of that on my cheeks just a tiny bit because my eyes are pretty pretty pink it's so beautiful guys okay so I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my makeup which is just gonna be my eyes my um, lashes and mascara and then I'll just come back with you guys and show you oh and my lips and then I'll come back and show you guys what the finished look looks like okay guys so this is the finished look um, I literally just put my lashes on I didn't want to like do eyeliner because I want to make the look a bit more dramatic um, and then I just paired it with a nude lip um, I absolutely love this look and the shadow is so beautiful it's so 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 beautiful the final thoughts of this palette is that I absolutely love it um, it's a very pigment the, sorry the glitters are very very pigmented so you could literally just use a little bit as a shimmer or a lot as a glitter so that's what I love about the the shimmers in this palette I also love the fact that the other colors are not they're not not pigmented enough that it's like frustrating you have to go in with like 10 layers but they're not they're not that pigmented that you can you know you can sort of work your way up and it helps you to like sort of not make any mistakes when you're doing your shadows um the only downfall i would say is that when i was using quite a lot of um the shades like down here i only used like three shades but when i was using the shades what looked to be more on the core side more of a brownie taupey shade it came off very pink as you can see my eyes look very pink but i didn't think that they were going to be that pink i thought they would be more nude but 
it's they're still very pretty it does have a concealer shade in the palette it's only down for i would say about the palette um is that it wasn't coming off they were all coming off very very pink this palette reminds me so much of the huda beauty one i don't actually have the huda beauty one i would love to have the huda beauty one but <laughs> right now i'm not about to spend like 60 pounds on a palette so i definitely would recommend this if you want if you are interested in getting the Huda Beauty one but don't want to spend that much, this could definitely be a dupe for that. Um, yeah, so that's the only things I could say about this palette. Definitely you guys are going to be seeing this in my videos um, quite a few times coming up now. <laughs> so just be prepared of that. You might just be sick of this palette eventually. So yeah, that's the good thing I can say about this palette. And the bronzer. The good things I can say about this bronzer is that it is very, very pigmented. As you can see, the swatch is still there on my hand. It's very, very pigmented. I wouldn't say anything sort of negative about this um, bronzer. If I had to, like, had to say something negative is that, obviously, if you're not careful, it can get very muddy, like any bronzer. If it's very pigmented and you use too much, it can get muddy. So that's the only sort of negative thing I can say about it but on the upside like this is going to last ages because you're not going to need a lot you just take your time and build up use a brush that is less dense and more fluffy so that it helps you to gauge how much product you are applying onto your face so that is it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these products i'm definitely going to leave the link um for these products for you guys in the description box below thumbnail <laughs> i'm definitely going to leave these products for you in the description box down below so you guys can go and check them out they're very very affordable definitely drug drugstore products um yeah guys and that's it i'm like really really happy with these products i think i paid altogether like 15 pounds just for these two products so that was really good um yeah so if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up um comment down below your thoughts of the look that i created your thoughts on the palette if you do have the palette um like i said any videos that you guys would like to see here on my channel please let me know also in the comments down below thank you again guys for watching this video um if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time i upload videos and you do not miss any videos of mine and i'll see you soon guys